The final takeaway is that we as a society need investigative journalists more than ever. What finally started this reckoning and ended this decades-long cycle of abuse was investigative reporting. Without that first Indianapolis Star story in August of 2016, You heard what the prosecutor said, obviously. Um, vindication, better than an award? I think for us, you know, when you talk about vindication from the pushback we'd gotten in the beginning, it really came, I think, with the Deborah Daniels report. And that was the outside review that had been done on USA Gymnastics. And she confirmed all of the findings that we'd had in our investigation. So that was kind of the first confirmation of the work we'd done. I think really the reaction to today was just appreciation for the women who trusted us to share their stories and who came forward and spoke about their experiences. How did you gain that trust? Well, specific to the Larry Nasser case, the you know first person who reached out to us was Rachel Denhollander, who's been very public. And she came forward because she'd read the first part of our Out of Balance series which published on August 4th of 2016. And when she read that, she sent us an email and she said that it was for the first time that she thought maybe she'd be believed about what had happened to her. So she came forward to us and shortly after she came forward to us, she filed a police report for the first time. She filed a Title IX complaint with Michigan State University and you know it just kind of went forward from there. So did you have any particular training in talking to victims or what did you do to, because there is a certain sensitivity to doing that, getting them to trust you, not re-victimizing them in the interview. How did you handle all of that? Really everything that I've learned, um, you know, I handle investigations relating to social services and welfare issues. So most of what I write about is somebody who's been through a traumatic situation or who may not be able to articulate what has happened to them. So just kind of through experience learning, you know, being upfront in the very beginning and saying, you know, you have a right to your story. And so do you have any questions for me? And, you know, as a reporter, Mark and Tim and I all explaining very clearly what we're working on, why we want to talk to them and how we think that their story can help and be important for the public to hear. How hard is it to do investigations of this level at a local newspaper? We were incredibly lucky. So we have fantastic bosses and they were 100% behind this from the very beginning. So the day that I got the tip about USA Gymnastics, they let me book a flight to Georgia to get almost a thousand pages of court records. So from day one, they were incredibly supportive of the project. And as soon as I got back and we realized the scope of what we had, Mark and Tim quickly joined the investigation and we were moving forward. And so there was never really a time where there was a question of whether we would pursue this. Um, this particular series, it, was, it had an award from IRE, um, but, but I think nationally, I don't think a lot of people would have said, oh, like, look back on it. You know, it wasn't a finalist for the Pulitzer. And I feel like now it was a little overlooked. Did you feel that way? Really for us, it was about the fact that we were able to make a difference in at least one case. You know, Larry Nasser is in prison.